This week's gun of the week is something really cool and I can't wait to show you. This week's gun is the M&P Shield 9 Plus with a twist. What do you mean by that? Well, Smith & Wesson has done an amazing job coming out with this new Shield Plus that is the carry comp version. So what does that mean? Well, it's got a compensator built in here in the front of the barrel and a port in the front of the slide. You can see this little slot in the top of the barrel, which is gonna release some gases to keep the muzzle from rising up. But also they've redesigned the slide. They have some interesting caulking serrations here, kind of in these arrow shapes. They're deep and they're easy to get a good grip on. Also, the front sight is amazing. It's a really bright tritium green dot front sight. It's got these ledge rear sight, which I'm really happy that the shield has gone to this. The first iteration of these shield pistols had a Novak style ramp, which you couldn't really catch on anything if you wanted to. If you needed an emergency rack this gun off the sights, you can now where you couldn't before. It's also an optic ready as most pistols coming out of the factory are nowadays. And it's got this really nice flat face trigger that is a crispy, I would say five and a half pound trigger pull. Really, really nice. Now this gun, comes in 10 round, 13 and 15 round magazines. This one would be a 15 round mag if you lived in a free state, you could have that and um, it would, it gives you some extra grip for your fingers, but it also can be limited to a 10 round mag as well. This might just be my next carry gun. I'm really excited about this. I shot it for the first time a couple weeks ago at the Matt Light Celebrity Shootout and uh, Smith & Wesson has really stepped up to the plate in a big way to help us with the fight here in Massachusetts. So I am really looking to put some time in behind this gun. And again, it might become my everyday carry, you never know. But this gun you can get with or without a thumb safety. I really recommend the no thumb safety version because I'm not a huge fan of the thumb safety for the shield line of pistols or the bodyguard. I don't think they're big enough to articulate but other than that you can get it without it and it does have a trigger safety built right in so that's a plus once you put a red dot sight on this that'll help you for distance and size of target probably not in what is most likely to happen in a defensive situation where you're going to be shooting kinesthetically with both eyes open anyway but it does help at distance and if the size of the target is smaller you can also move the mag release onto the right side of the gun if you're a lefty. And other than that, it's just a beautifully redesigned Shield Plus. The Shield has been around now for seven, eight years, I think. And uh, they've really done a good job to make it a 10 round pistol and redesign the slide so that it can accommodate a red dot sight and the trigger to have a really crispy, nice five and a half pound carry trigger. So with that being said, I can't wait to get some time behind this gun and spend some time with it to see if it's gonna become my new everyday carry. But it's this week's gun of the week. You guys can certainly uh, take advantage of that if you go to rapidfireradio.us, scroll down to gun of the week and use code GOW at checkout for a very special savings on the Shield Plus. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you on Rapid Fire.